Hi folks, and welcome back. Those of you who are familiar with the channel will know that I've taken on a lot this year. <laughs> I took on a second allotment plot and extension towards the kind of start of the year and then I've been helping out a lot on the third plot, my auntie and uncle's plot because they've been having a baby and well there's a big bit of news today because today I'm introducing you to plot number four <laughs> it is absurd but but it's not my plot. This one is my parents' plot. It is behind me and I have just arrived for the first ever time I'm going to be doing a tour of this. I've not seen it, so you're going to be seeing it for the first time at the same time as me. And the <laughs> look at this, look at this it's massive scaffolding structure. It's absolutely incredible. It's about four rods. It's quite overgrown, but let's spin you around and we'll, we're going to do a first tour of the fourth plot. There's just a lot of grass, but it's quite, it's, the shape is quite kind of narrow. So my dad's playing with some kind of tool at the end there. I'm not sure, we've got this nice little pear kind of hedge. I think this might be next door's allotment, which I must say next door's looking very neat and tidy. Look at this. You ever seen this? You've never seen an allotment this tidy on my channel. <laughs> But it's just, ah, oh, the, the feeling, the kind of, the promise of a, a new allotment is just so, so exciting. There's a nice big raspberry patch over here. I'm assuming that's what they are. Yes, there's a few. It's that time of year, isn't it? Not particularly fruitful, but I imagine the, the birds are all over those. I just cannot get over this scaffolding structure. You can chuck some netting on this and you've got an instant cage. I'm guessing once upon a time, that is what they had on here. A lot of strimming to be done. I wonder, you never know quite what's underground though. I can see a little bit of weed matting just in places, which is sometimes a little bit scary. I can see there's some, a lot of strawberries under there though. So maybe this was a strawberry patch once upon a time. That would make sense in the netting. Oh, look at this. There's some more raspberries over there on the right. They've actually got some fruit on. Derelict netting and some absolutely massive, pretty healthy looking rhubarb. So that's quite nice, but this is kind of the over, really overgrown bit is in the scaffolding, but the rest, you know, that doesn't look too bad. There's a, a couple of little cherry trees, just like I've got on my new plot. There's a massive poppy, some evening primrose coming up too. My parents picked up the keys for this, I think literally this week. So they've had it a few days. And I must say this actually, well, I'm just looking at the ground. This looks like it hasn't been, I don't know. It doesn't look cultivated in a long time to me. This looks, you, know, the, uh, you probably won't be able to tell, but it is super lumpy bumpy. It doesn't look like a kind of uh, cultivated bed that's just started to grow over. This is cherry tree here and some fruit bushes over here. That's a currant, I think. That's some kind of currant. That's maybe a gooseberry. This area doesn't look like it was ever cultivated. Just thinking, I'm wondering if this was a bit of a fruit patch or something like that. I could be wrong. Yeah, my dad is just saying, you won't be able to hear him, but this bit over here looks a, a lot more worked. This is what I mean about the cultivation. You can kind of see, well, this one's got potatoes in. Look at this, much better than my potatoes. That's quite interesting, isn't it? You don't often inherit a plot that's had crops in the ground because potatoes would have been planted March, maybe? Yeah, like I was wondering, my dad was telling me about these and I was saying maybe they're just volunteers, but no, that is definitely a planting. That's the uh, strawberries there. Yeah, really nice strawberry patch. It looks quite a nice size, definitely kind of manageable, you know? Um, Bit of bindweed, everyone's favourite allotment weed. Next door, oh, you got some uh, some tough neighbours to keep up with. Yeah. This is looking very neat and tidy on this side. Oh, greenhouse next door. Maybe if you make some friends, <laughs> might have a few things in there. It's one of the things though. It will be really nice being able to chuck all my spares at my parents, and instead of putting them in the compost. Oh, this is exciting. I can't, I just, I can't believe the scaffolding. If you wanted to make that from scratch, you're looking at hundreds of pounds. So really nice. Yeah, there's all at the back here, loads. 
<laughs> loads of, uh, well, probably useful stuff, but also some rubbish, I'm sure. Let's yeah, mate, look at the size of those slabs. Massive. Oh, God, have you looked in here much? No, that's the first job, is to uh, empty that. First job emptying this, wow. Some blue pipe, classic. Some matting. You've actually got probably some good stuff here. Yep. Loads of pots, some trays for underneath. This does look like it might just be rubbish. It's very interesting when you get one that this can't have been abandoned for so long because, yeah, because of the potatoes. So you wouldn't expect to find, you know, a complete dumpster in a shed unless the previous tenant was being very naughty. Normally, it, something's been abandoned for a long time and then everyone comes over and starts <laughs> chucking their stuff in the, the communal waste. What's in here? Let's have oh, a look in here. Nissen up. Nissen? Yeah. Like an Anderson shower? Oh, Anderson shower. Oh, it's kind of it's creepy. <laughs> oh, it's dark. <laughs> oh, this has got bad vibes. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's creepy. The, f the floor is just like compacted earth, is it? Looks yeah, solid. I believe so. Bit of hose. Oh, you got some forks. <sighs> Little drawer hoe as well. Are these your tools or are these all here? These are all here. That's not bad, you know. I don't know about that kneeler. Not got much. Have you looked in the drawers? There's nothing in there. Ooh. You never know what you're going to find. Oh, look at all this scaffolding stuff. Loads of bits and bobs. This is cool. This is giving me, giving me the heaps, so I don't really like it in there. No, it's not. <laughs> wow. There's some, there's definitely underneath to that. You know, there's some layers of accumulated stuff in there. He's having a look. Yeah, that, is, that does look like a big job. Have the council offered any help with it? They have offered, but we said we wanted to go through it first. Yeah, go through it first. Just in case there's any goodies. Yeah, there's a chair there by the look of it. There's one there. That does look quite Old. densely packed. Yeah. Some good wood in there, though, I can see. Yeah, so I can make some... I don't know what's going on on the roof. My dad can that's see that. carpet there. And the camera can that's see just, it. just uh, rotten wood. But I'm too short. <laughs> What's this though that you pulled out of the, the shed? Well, it's a roller with a... Oh, it's got a full on, like a cultivator. Yeah. Oh, look at that. However you're supposed to use it, I mean, we haven't got horses. No horses? <laughs> that looks quite cool, doesn't it? Yeah. I, uh, anyone in the comments, please let me know the name. I bet this is like an antique. Yeah, it looks it. If you've got any instructions or... The furrow looks like it would be really good for spuds. Rolo. That looks like a vintage label. Look at that. That's quite cool. That does look like an old bit of kit, doesn't it? Yeah. I love the things you find when you take on a new plot. That is really cool. So first job, probably clearing. Having a look in here. Then what are you gonna do? What's your kind of, got any kind of timeline, aspiration? Not really. Just play it by ear, see how it goes, get used Grab to it. Up the dump. Yeah. We'll take three or four trips, at least. Uh, obviously, get the strimmer out. Yeah. Deweed it. It'll look like a brand new plot as soon as you strim a lot of this tall grass yeah. off. I mean, spuds, by then almost, we. Digging up, so yeah, some produce off it. This is uh, you know, patio down here, or slabs. There's a nice little hair patch there, yeah, didn't see that. Patch. I don't know about these. It's the kiddies paddling for the previous, yeah. Kids. Mum's gonna want to make that into a pond, isn't she? Exactly, yes. So, uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> yeah. Look at these. Oh my god, I didn't even notice. That's some substantial timber. Oh. That's very cool. Yeah, first look at the fourth plot. I'm sure I'll be helping out, well, a little bit here, <laughs> as you've seen. I've definitely got my hands full, but I can't wait to see what my parents do with this. Uh, my dad's had a few health problems. Do you mind me talking about it a little That's bit? That's fine. Um, well, I was dead last year, so. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know if the microphone picked that up, but he just said he was dead this time last year, which is pretty much true. Yeah. true. <laughs> we actually, we've just been to a hospital appointment and this time last year, pretty much exactly, my dad had a, <laughs> a fatal heart attack and he was brought back and you were in, you were in yeah, you were in a coma for God knows how long. Three weeks, I think. Yeah, about like three weeks. And um, when, he came, when he came back to us, he had no idea who we were. <laughs> Your memory was completely gone. Um, and that took about probably like a month. It was a bit touch and go. We didn't know what was going to happen. But slowly over time, it just yeah. came back, didn't it? Your brain repaired itself. And now he's fighting fit. Um, he's kind of going through the process of medical retirement, aren't you? Yeah. I think early retirement and something like an allotment is just kind of perfect bit of light exercise. Gives you a little bit of something to do, eh? Something to do, get the streamer out. Yeah. Five minutes and then sit down. Yeah, and it's why I've just been so lucky having both my parents help out at mine. And um, I was just thinking it's quite nice. It's come full circle. So my parents used to have a plot on one of these allotments. It's quite near to their house. And you didn't have time with full time job. It was, I must have been about 16, 18, that kind of age. Um, so it helped out a little bit, but not really. Yeah, my dad went out um, Afghanistan doing stuff on helicopters and yeah, kind of gave it up. And then I think, well, I think it's probably fair to say where they've been helping me out and seeing like the videos and stuff, it's given you a bit of a, yeah, little, a, bit, of a... bit of an itch to, to give it a go and get back yeah. into it themselves. So it's kind of nice, it's come full circle. You know, they planted the seed with me. I got me into allotmenting and now they've seen what I'm doing and now they've got their own. It's just brilliant, I can't wait to see what happens. Thank you ever so much for watching. An extra special thank you to my Chili Pepper Tier patrons, Tony, Bill, Pam, Louise, Michael, Mel, Socks in the Garden, Denise and Craig. Got it in one. Yes. Hi, <laughs> Hopefully. Oh. <laughs> Butchering the intro outro there. Hopefully I'll see you again in the next one. <laughs>